very different. I read this play and immediately I just loved it. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was um, one of the best plays I've read in at least five, maybe 10 years. Because it's one thing when you just read a, a great play, is yeah, there's yeah. this feeling as an artist like, oh my God, I can't believe I, I'm reading this play before anyone else is. I'm, I sort of know what other people don't. And then when you're asked to do it, it's like, oh wow, well this is, this is the best possible scenario. My agent, I, 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 it, w it didn't look like I was going to be able to do it, to do the play. But then she sent it through. She was like, yeah, it's a new play and it's going to be in Chicago and then it's going to, it's going to do a run in Chicago and then it's going to do a run at the National. And I'm thinking, what the f So she sends me it through and it says Bruce Norris's new play. So I was like, oh my God. And I was like, no, I, I just have to be in this play. I, because it's just like the writing is incredible, like, like almost flawless, almost. It's flawless. <laughs> so I play Giovanni Joseph. He is a level one sex offender, uh, living in this group home with these other three sex offenders who are all level threes. So he, in many ways, sees himself as the, the most <coughs> human of these inhumans. Effie works at Staples with Gio. Giovanni Joseph. Giovanni Joseph. She's a small town girl who's got a very fast brain and is kind of manic. And I think when she, I think with Gio, what it is is she knows that he's a sex offender. She knows that he's done this, but he, it's, it's more of a, oh, you're on my level. You're on my frequency. We're both on this level of mania. Our brains probably work at the same speed. So it's, it's really interesting because it's just like she, she walks into his environment, his space in this group home and she just kind of sits down and gets involved and has some pizza there. Uh, the thing I'll say about that is that <clears throat> I think th that's a testament to Bruce. I think that what Bruce was able to do in this play is a magic trick. He was able to talk about these sort of fringe characters, you know, but he was able to imbue them with humanity. And with that humanity comes comedy, yeah. comes um, relationships, comes history, comes, uh, I read the play and I went, oh, I know, I see, I see, I see what this guy is. I know, that's funny, you know? It, I was terrified at first. I was so intimidated. Because when you're coming into an ensemble, like it, it feels like I had, fi I had f like these incredible actors sat around doing a read through that was the best thing I've ever fucking seen. And it was a read through around a table. And I was like, oh my God. And like, all I'm going is, am I doing the accent right? Do you know what I mean? So I'm sat there and then I thought, oh, there's a Steppenwolf way. Do you know what I mean? They, they've got a way that they do things and I don't know about it. And it's scary. But actually, as it went on, I realized that it's not like that. Everyone is so unique like, and so different from one another. And they all work in completely different ways. And there's not a Steppenwolf way. If you walked into our rehearsal room, you would not think we are doing yeah. a play. No about idea. Sex offenders. You would not think that. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, we're all having too much fun. All these actors, all these humans. Who everyone's just, funny. Yeah. And hilarious. everyone's weird in the best way. Yeah. Everyone's funny, everyone's weird. And that comes out, so there's just a bunch of weird, funny people yeah. doing a great play that happens to have a very serious undertone. Very different.